the Zercher Squad. Today we're going to be covering the Zercher Squad. Now this squat is going to be performed just like this. So what you want to do is start with the bar about mid-level on the squat rack. You're going to step up to it and place the crook of your arms or where your elbow joint is right into the bar, holding it nice and tight to your body. You're going to lift it off the rack, step back out of the rack, put your feet about shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed outward in a comfortable position, and then you're going to be pushing your hips back, keeping the bar tight to your body, chest up, and then pushing straight up through the heels to the top position, extending your hips. Now the pros to this exercise is going to be less spine compression. Usually in the rear loaded squat or the front loaded squat, the spine is going to be slightly compressed. With the Zercher squat, it's going to relieve some of that pressure off the spine and it's going to keep you with better squat form because of the positioning of the bar and it's lowering your center of gravity. Unfortunately, the cons in this exercise is you're actually holding the weight with your arms in your elbow joint. So it's going to put a little pressure on your arms. You got to keep it really tight. You got to keep the core tight. So you can't go too heavy on this exercise. But the good thing about this exercise, it's going to work those quads. It's going to work the glutes. It's going to work the core. And it's going to work the biceps a little bit because of the pull from the bar. But other than that, you're good to go to build those quadzillas with the Zercher squat.